So in this section, we are going to learn how to set up accounts payable and receivable basic setup. In order to do this, I start by going through general ledger, opening up the main accounts and creating a few accounts that are necessary for our setup. The first account I'm making is a vendor summary account. And this account is going to be used in a specific form. We know it as a vendor posting profile. The idea of this account is to collect all the values of invoices that the company is supposed to receive and it keeps adding to this specific account. So by the time you accept a vendor invoice and you post it into the system, the value of how much you owe the vendor will be posted here. So it's like considered as an intermediary account that you keep calculating how much do you owe a specific vendor or a group of vendors or perhaps for all vendors. For sake of demonstration, I'm making it a bit easier. I only make one vendor summary account, but depends on your implementation. By the time you talk to your client, perhaps they may need to create multiple vendor summary accounts. For example, if you have Microsoft as your vendor, you would like to separately calculate how much you owe Microsoft versus other companies. Or you're looking at domestic vendors versus foreign vendors. You would like to calculate them separately. In this example, I only show you one account in order to make the demonstration easier. The second account I'm making is going to consider an account that would be acted as an offset account for the vendor summary account. That means if I'm collecting the invoices, let's say the first invoice is $100, I post it into the summary account, so it knows that $100 is supposed to be paid to the vendor, but I need to create an additional account such as this, which we call it a payable, that means I'm supposed to pay off of this account. Now, the reason is not going to be the bank because it's just a registration of the vendor invoice and recording a vendor invoice. Later, you decide whether or not you're paying from what bank and you're paying how, or maybe you don't want to pay them at all. So it's like a perhaps expense account or a liability account. It's completely up to you. For this demonstration, I choose to make this to be a liability account and this liability is supposed to be acted as a balance account or some companies that choose to go and consider it to be an expense account. It's completely up to the discretion of the controller. You could also choose an expense if you like to. So it doesn't matter what type of an account you're going to use for this demonstration, but I decided to go with the liability at this time. That means I'm liable to pay this vendor. How much? I look at the vendor summary account. So it's an offset.